Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha. All day yesterday, I had been receiving emails and messages on social media regarding a shift in Patreon's rates and fees associated with what people pay on Patreon to support their favorite creators. Now, let me preface this video by stating in no uncertain terms. I expressed a great deal of irritation on Twitter surrounding these changes as I watched multiple Patreons cancel their subscriptions, and some people might have taken that to mean that I was frustrated for myself. I wasn't. You see, while some people do choose to support creators on Patreon, very few of them are of any great means, meaning that some choose to donate what little extra money they have each month. Sometimes a dollar is all people can spare. Some people have five or ten dollars that they wish to support people with and choose to spread that money out amongst multiple creators. That is a laudable goal, and I for one have always stated and will always continue to maintain the position that, while I do feel honored that anyone would choose to support me and my channel so directly, I would always prefer to know that you are taking care of yourself first. I would rather make sure you have food in your belly, a roof over your head, and anything else you might need to keep yourself healthy and happy before you choose to donate any extra money to me. While I do have set goals with my Patreon that are tied to my ability to take my channel full-time thanks to the absolute insecurity of YouTube's ad revenue, I could never in good conscience accept money from a person that is deliberately shorting themselves. You are more important than your money. You always have been and you always will be. Without your watching my videos and sharing them on social media to help expose them to other people, there quite literally wouldn't be a channel to support on Patreon to begin with. And as such, I feel very strongly that Patreon is prioritizing themselves and their creators over those of you that are supporting them, which is completely backwards. But before we go any further, let's talk about what exactly has been happening that has been raising such a ruckus. Yesterday, Patreon announced the following. In order to continue our mission of funding the creative class, we're always looking for ways we can help creators continue to grow their creative careers. We're committed to building tools that transform communities into thriving, long-term membership businesses. A large piece of that puzzle is predictability and consistency around your finances, which is why we're introducing a change that allows Patreon creators to take home exactly 95% of every pledge with no additional fees. Aside from Patreon's existing 5% fee, a creator's income on Patreon often varied from month to month because of third-party processing fees, and patrons may not have been aware that creators actually take home a lower percentage of their intended pledges because of those fees. Our goal is to make these paychecks as predictable as possible, so we're restructuring how these fees are paid. Starting on December 18th, a new service fee of 2.9% plus 35 cents will be paid by patrons for each individual pledge. To get into the details, existing per creation pledges for posts made on or after December 18th will be charged the new service fee. Existing per month pledges will first be charged a service fee on January 1st. Streamlining these fees for creators and patrons ensures that creators take home as much of their earnings as possible. Now, the reason behind this was stated in an update to this article made by Patreon a few hours later where they discussed the additional fees leveraged due to the different support types offered by Patreon and the fees involved, which are the per creation subscription, the monthly subscription, and the monthly subscription with charge up front, and the apparent involvement of some patrons in all three methods through the various creators they support. However, let's look at things and how they were before versus how they will be at the end of the month. So let's look at what has changed for $1 and $5 subscriptions. And before, that was what you paid, and that was that. Easy, simple, and it didn't require a calculator to determine how much you would actually be paying. And if you choose to support multiple creators, you wouldn't have to try and figure out exactly how many service fees you would be paying. And then out of those donations, Patreon would charge their 5% plus the transaction fees from either PayPal or Stripe. In that, PayPal would charge 1% of the amount transferred that was capped at $20, or $0.1 to $0.05 cents for each $1 or $5 donation. In addition, Stripe would charge a $0.25 cent fee for each transaction. Now, obviously, for creators, Stripe is the far cheaper way to go, as typically we're paid out in one lump sum, and so obviously $0.25 cents is far less than $20. That would mean, assuming the highest possible dollar amount charged in fees would be $0.06 cents paid out if the creator used PayPal and $0.26 cents if they used Stripe for each $1 subscription. Now, bear in mind that is only if Patreon is forced to pay out each dollar individually through those sites, which they most definitely do not. However, with a new system, if you wish to donate $1 to a creator, you must pay a $0.35 cent plus 2.9% service fee. Or, put simply, you'll be paying Patreon $1.38 to be able to donate $1 to a creator who will then receive $0.95. Cents. 
And if you're donating at $5, you will be paying $5.50 where the creator will earn $4.75. And this is where I have the real problem with it all. You see, I can understand Patreon's standpoint. It's hard to do what they do, and the vagaries make it difficult on both them and on creators that rely on stability. And while this pricing change does allow for static percentages, something that we did not see before, the fees involved are a dramatic increase over what we saw before, and I don't see why the rates need to be this extreme. A couple that with the fact that they have front-loaded this to impact patrons instead of creators means that they retain far higher rates of income as opposed to the fees paid out to creators at the beginning of each month. And to my mind, this is the absolute wrong way to go about things. A Patreon keeps touting in this post how they are thinking about the creators first, and they understand this will cause some people to remove their support in the short term, but overall it will be a good thing. But I completely disagree. If Patreon wanted or needed more money, they should have been upfront and direct with people at the outset instead of lying to creators and directly impacting their supporters. Just be honest with people and you'd be surprised. Would I have still liked it even if they were honest? No, but at least I would have understood their position. You see, the flat rate is good. It allows for more consistency. But what Patreon should have done here was notified creators and backloaded the fees, making them come out of the creator's side of things, not forcing the patrons to shoulder the burden and make it more difficult for them. Or better yet, add a checkbox on sign up and let them decide. Would they just like to donate a dollar and creators make what they make after the fact? Or would they like to pay the service fees to make sure creators make the maximum amount of money from their patronage? It would make things simple for those with fixed or limited incomes or for those who simply don't want to do the math. You see, Patreon is very much like YouTube or Twitch. When it comes down to it, it is our viewers and our patrons that make us what we are. They provide us this out of the goodness of their hearts and a desire to support those creators they follow. Without them, none of us would be where we are today. We should be making things easier on them, not harder. The Patreon is backing the creators when they have proven here that they have no idea what makes these creators special to begin with. And it's not them. And it most certainly is not me. What makes us special isn't anything we say or do. It's the communities that decide to follow us because they are like-minded or they enjoy what we make. Patreon just doesn't seem to understand that. And for all of those who have canceled their support on Patreon, I get it. I really do. And I'm sorry any of you were put into this position. You realize I got apology letters from people? Please don't ever feel like you need to apologize to me if your financial situation changes or if you have to reduce the number of creators you support because of these new fees and I didn't make the cut. I get it. I really do. I appreciate the fact that you chose to support me up to this point and I hope one day that I manage to learn and grow enough to be able to earn that support back. But that's up to me and it's never up to you. You don't owe me anything, whereas it is we, the creators, who owe you everything. But as always, please do let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. A special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters who have stuck with me, and especially those 20 and up club members whose names are down in the description of these videos. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sidalfa, and I'll see you next time.